Today I used the world's smartest AI to recreate iconic locations and characters from the Destiny universe, and what I found was both incredible and also slightly concerning. Take the first image design for example, the prompt being Shattered Throne. Looks pretty cool right? Like a mix between Portal 2 and Destiny. But there are a lot of locations and characters to pick from, will all of them give us similar results? Following the trend of dungeons, I next decided to create Pit of Heresy. What I got was a little confusing. There's some sort of soup in the middle, with unidentifiable objects being cooked. I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on here if I'm being honest, it kind of looks like some sort of ritual. I decided to recreate this one again and ended up with this, a lake with this sinister looking cave ready to take a chomp out of anything that comes near. Moving on to Grasp of Avarice, this input gave me an image that was slightly more coherent. It depicts what looks to be a floating city, partially in ruins. No idea how the Avarice prompt affected this one, I guess because it shows some sort of palace. And finally, Duality, another floating city. <laughs> This program sure does love floating cities I'm finding. The fragmentation of this picture I think is where the prompt duality was utilised. With a prompt as vague as this I can see why the program struggled to create an interesting image. I like the maze-like design of the castle thing in the centre, kinda reminds me of the labyrinths you see when looking outwards from the lighthouse, or even the one you can vaguely see in the skybox of the Shattered Throne dungeon. Probably something you wouldn't notice unless you see it in a 13 things you missed about Shattered Throne type of video. I, I say that ironically, but I'd probably actually get a lot of views. Next, I moved on to general locations. The EDZ was where I started. I went through a few iterations before coming to this design here, which I actually think looks really cool. <laughs> you can really tell the ones I put a sinister filter on. The Cosmodrome. This one was scarily accurate. From the massive rusted wall to the abandoned plains and farmland around it, this looks very similar to the Cosmodrome we see in Destiny. I have a theory to why this is, but I'll get onto that later. Savathun's Throne World. This one had a very similar look to Duality, but just did everything better. The Dreaming City turned out to be a really, really good prompt for this. Using a cosmic filter, the AI created these three masterpieces, all of which have a similar style and none of which look anything like the Dreaming City of Destiny. I find it really interesting how all of these seem more magical than all the others, simply because I put Dream in the prompt. They all seem to feature a sort of person butterfly thing. It's very confusing but interesting to look at. On a similar note, whenever I put last in the title, it seemed to give a dying post-apocalyptic vibe instead. Uh, did, did I just unironically say vibe? That, that's not even in my script. The Last City. This one turned out to be absolutely amazing, but I'm not sure it matches the scale of Destiny's Last City. I like the boat, the boat's cool. Moving on over to raids, as they have some really cool names, we have Last Wish. The massive scale raid which is many people's favourite of all time, and the program diminished it into this. It honestly looks more like Savathun's throne world than the Dreaming City. Vow of the Disciple. <laughs> this was an interesting one. I literally can't figure out what's going on here. It's like one of those images you find on Reddit which are like, try to identify something in the image, your brain will tell you that you can't but you actually can and it nothing actually fits together. There's like, sort of people, but then sort of not. There's like, sort of a house but it could be a hat. I decided to recreate this one later but I think it ended up as a bit of a mess so I think I deleted it. Now for the current hot raid, King's Fall. This one is just incredible, especially considering an AI created it. It's just this massive castle falling down onto this autumn countryside. Really good looking this one, even if it doesn't bear any resemblance to the raid. Vault of Glass, an incoherent mess, but I get the idea that it's trying to get across. We've got this compound type thing in the middle of a sort of landscape with glass stuff in the middle. I'm brilliant at describing things, you're welcome. Deepstone Crypt was actually really interesting, and also slightly concerning. The first rendition of this prompt gave me this, a tomb with a sort of strangely familiar symbol on the front. <laughs> they tried to hide it by covering up the middle part, but that's not getting through me. I decided to recreate this one and instead got an interesting rock. For Garden of Salvation, I used the same filter as the Dreaming City, and I think it turned out well, if a bit boring in comparison to some of the others. Let's rapidly touch on some of the raids currently in the DCV. Eater of Worlds, Spire of Stars, Crown of Sorrow, Scourge of the Past, this one was particularly cool, Crota's End, and finally Wrath of the Machine, which I also really liked. Now we're going to move on to characters. Now this is where I began to unpick just how this AI works. You see, it started out with the prompt Zavala. It's a pretty vague prompt that unless you're familiar with Destiny could be talking about a lot of things. But then I got back this. 
I guess the AI's been doing some research. Even the leg armor is practically identical. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if these were robots from a faction in Destiny. This AI seriously looked at the Red Jacks, the Vanguard bots, the Postmaster probably, and maybe even that one robot from the Opulent season that no one remembers. It even looks to me like they've copied the head from a species of robot from another game, that being the Corvax from No Man's Sky. Definitely a lot to keep in mind moving forward. Except it just kept getting smarter. The prompt Cade 6. The result? An off-brand version that looks scarily similar. This one was surprisingly coherent, aside from maybe some weird stuff going on with the weapon. The AI even understands colour theory, which is just ridiculous. The Crow. This looks so much like a Destiny cutscene. Okay. I've deciphered this AI. You see, the website I'm using is known as Night Cafe. With this site, there are three different modes, artistic, coherent, and stable. I've used artistic for all the locations and raids so far, and I've gotten back numerous landscapes with a sort of vague subject and some stuff in the background. Coherent, funnily enough, lacked coherency. Here's a coherent piece with the prompt Europa. You can't really tell what's going on, which is the exact opposite of what coherent means. Stable, however, is much better for characters rather than landscapes, but my theory is that this newer, stable algorithm takes much more inspiration from references online. If I look up Cade 6, I get the same sorts of colours and textures used in the AI creation. If I search up Zavala, again, I get similar colours and armour styles. The only prompts where this doesn't work are firstly, the vague ones like the Drifter. It doesn't look at all like the Drifter in Destiny, more of a sort of drifter between worlds. Really cool picture though, really looks like Mars. Secondly, the prompt could simply lack enough reference material for the AI to develop a complete understanding of what was asked for it. This was the case for Savathun the Witch Queen, which doesn't resemble Destiny at all, looking more like something out of Lord of the Rings or Dark Souls. Lord Shax, I got this short stubby knight with horns and a rope belt. Probably a titan, definitely looks similar to Lord Shax. Now for some honourable mentions. These weren't major locations within the game, but still deserve a little bit of attention. Scarlet Keep gave me this interesting piece. The Ascendant Plane gave me this. Zer's Treasure Hoard gave me this mess, except it kind of looks like Zer down there. And now Destiny 2. I did this twice and got these two pictures. I used the stable algorithm, so I'm not surprised what it looks like locations in Destiny. Lastly though, and this one shocked me the most, Eternity gave me this image. The mountains and ruins were cool, but what particularly caught my eye was the Traveller on the right. <laughs> Why did it show up there? I don't know, but I think this AI has probably caught on to what I'm doing at this point, so I'm quite possibly in danger. Goodbye.